as we're streaming from San Diego, California, I'd like to first introduce the band. On vibraphone, we have Mr. Ian Harland. <laughs> on guitar, Mr. Louis Valenzuela. On bass, Mackenzie Layton. And on drums, we have Kevin Higuchi. The first one was uh, nice rhythm changes uh, entitled For Your Health and Safety, which is the reason why we're doing all of this, because uh, we don't go to venues anymore. We do this online now. And um, the second tune that we segued right into was a title, a tune that I wrote as a prayer for my dear friend Nina, who recently passed away, our dear friend Nina, who recently passed away. And so that was a prayer that uh, I offered for her. We're now moving to another tune. This will be a fun blues. This is entitled Best Coast Blues.
So uh, Charlie's not throwing in the towel, but it is hot, and we're taking a quick break here for the band to uh, flip through the music and uh, catch their breath. Um, a huge thank you to uh, Charlie Arbelize. Uh, this is an amazing set. And uh, please keep in mind, we are streaming live, and uh, Charlie has presented us with two bands, and he is providing two sets of music. We will have an intermission where we'll uh, show our interview with Charlie and some other footage. So. We'll switch over the stage, uh, but we will break with some footage, which I think you'll really enjoy. And if you're new with us, or if you've been watching our streams before, a quick update. You can visit us at interconcerts.com. Once again, that's... We've got a special crew here. We've got multiple camera operators and live switch and sound mixing, and we're providing some great quality to you because we love this and we love the artists that we're working with. And we'll be sharing more information during our intermission about an upcoming concert that I think you'll find very exciting. We'll have a couple artists that have a very special feature, which I think you'll be surprised to see. And then later for Charlie's second set, he will have a surprise guest. It's a guest that is near and dear to San Diego. And please, please stick around for that. That is gonna be a very special opportunity for us here tonight. We're streaming live. We're streaming live from Queen Bees in North Park, San Diego. A shout out to Alma and a shout out to Intertalk Media. And please consider donating. If you like what you're watching, it means a lot to us. You can also donate by purchasing coffee, we have headphones, and uh, please check out the site, interconcerts.com, but you can also visit us at intertalkmedia.com. Thank you. Charlie, take it away.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That one uh, was a tune entitled The Time Machine, and that featured our drummer, Mr. Kevin Higuchi, the whole way through. You also heard, again, from our band, Mr. Ian Harland on the vibraphone. That's Louis Valenzuela on guitar and Mac Layton on the bass. All right. That brings us to uh, our last tune for the evening. And uh, this is one that I wrote entitled Daily Dose. Uh, hope you like it. This has been really fun. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you on the second set. Thank you. 
Once again, that's Ian Harland on the vibraphone, Louis Valenzuela on the guitar, Mackenzie Layton on the bass, and Kevin Higuchi on the drums. Yours truly, my name is Charlie Arbelize. Thank you, and see you in the next set. Once again, a very special thank you to Charlie and the band. Uh, this, this means so much. Thank you for uh, performing live and uh, allowing us to keep jazz live and active. And uh, this is a very well-performed live stream, Charlie. Great original music. Everything Charlie is performing tonight is an original. And, and uh, he will be performing a second set of Afro-Cuban Latin. And those will be original pieces as well. And uh, we will be inviting David Barone from KSDS Jazz 88 FM. He will take my place as host, and he will have some special things to say about Charlie's set. So um, we're going to segue into an intermission so we can do a set change. Uh, please visit us at intertalkconcerts.com. We would love to hear from you. Uh, we have a chat room. We have a message room. You can say hi to us. You can say hi to Charlie. You can say hi to the band. You can say hi to Florentino. You can say hi to me. We'd, we'd love to hear a post, so uh, please feel free to participate. And if you really like what you're seeing, uh, please also donate, uh, whether it be $10, $20, uh, 
uh, if you would like to help donate by coffee or purchasing headphones or just a simple nominal domination, that would really mean a lot to us and the band. So please consider that. And please keep in mind our intermission is going to feature a couple stars. Uh, first, first and foremost, Bunny Brunel, bassist Bunny Brunel, will be, for, will be performing an acoustic set on September 12th. So we'll be streaming that live. And you'll get to hear from him during the intermission. And the intermission will also include an interview with Bunny uh, that was conducted by bassist Stanley Clark. So please stick around for that, as well as our interview with Charlie. And uh, please keep in mind, September 12th, for the Bunny Brunel Acoustic Concert. It features Clayton Cameron on drums, by the way, as well as an all-star band. So Bunny will be coming down and streaming live. So we'll segue to the intermission. Uh, Tino, I'll let you and the crew take it away. Thank you. Thank you. 
Well, Bunny, it's good to see you here and um, you know we just finished this project. I just wanted to let you know I really had a great time doing this uh, this record with you and the best part was seeing all these bass players. You know, because like you, I think you, you're, you're much like me, that I'm a fan of other bass players. I've always been a fan of bass players, you are too. And, uh, you know, the better they are, they're, they're great. And so it's nice we have, like, a combination of some of the older guys. I think we're the oldest of two, like that's grandfathers. Right. That's you know? right. Right? And and, uh, and then we go all the way down to some of the young guys, like Adrian, one of your countrymen. And we have all the different ranges, Victor Wood, and all these different types of bass players. And so how, how was it? was it for you like doing this okay. well uh, it, it was fantastic because as you mentioned I'm mean, like you I just like every bass player because I think the everybody has something to say you know? mm. everybody has something particular that I admire all the stuff so I'm listening to players and they all have uh, some you know idiosyncrasies things they're doing that the, yeah. I cannot do it, so I, I like to listen to the different ideas, different way people yeah. approach things, and uh, especially working with you is fantastic. We played most of those melodies and comping, and uh, yeah. you, you're the man. You know, you're playing the bass. You know, you like you like bass players. Oh yeah, you know, you yeah, like yeah. people do actually play the bass. You know, so yeah, this, this is a good thing. You know, I really enjoyed it as well, and thank you very much for all the, the uh, inspiration and all that. It was so cool, you know, there's a lot of people that have turned out to be my really good friends like you are to me. Um, when I meet them, for some reason, there's the introduction is never sticky. Like when I met you, it was like, it was as if we'd been hanging out for like four or five years and you, I think he said, yeah, come on over here or something. You know, we were both very young and I don't even know you know what was happening, but we were just there. It was, it was a great, great, uh, really great thing. But it, it must really be nice for you to to have seen and experienced the evolution of the electric bass. I mean, now you're an acoustic bass player too, and we could talk about that. But specifically, the electric bass that must be really nice for you to have seen where it was then and what it's become. I remember because I stopped playing the acoustic bass, and a week later I pick up an electric bass with the acoustic playing like a Dave Bruberg and Oscar Peterson, listening to the bass line, coming, you know, Sam Jones and all that. With the electric bass, I was not much into the pop stuff because they used to right. play like, uh, you know, some very simple bass lines. Playing jazz, I had to go to something that interested me, so I got into James Brown. Right. So because I liked the bass line, you know, the thing, David, they, they had yeah. all the, he had all those bass lines, you know, for and it's fine yeah. because I went to see the James Brown movie, you know, they, they made a nice yeah. movie. And I was listening, I could have played all the bass lines, I knew them all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew all the bass lines because yeah. that's what I started playing. And then you have uh, Otis Redding, you know, yeah. and uh, uh, Wilson Pickett, Sam and Dave, all, uh, you know, all those guys. Yeah. And that's how I learned. To, I was playing the electric bass like that, and at the same time I would play the acoustic bass, and I would carry some of the technique exactly. both ways, you know. Exactly. And that got me into playing solos and things like that. And my point of view was like, oh, I wanted to play like a, a solo like Herbie Hancock or John Coltrane. Some of those bass solos were like a drum solo. It was the mystery thing. So yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Right. And me, no, no, I wanted to play some melody, some stuff like that. So I, I started practicing like that. And the first person that I heard that was actually doing that was Eddie Gomez. A yeah. friend of mine put a, I went to his house, it was a bass player. He said, oh, listen to that guy. And he put, it was the uh, Bill Evans Live at the Montreal Jazz yeah, Festival. Yeah. It was the Empress W solo. Right. Eddie Gomez. I said, yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, he yeah. showed me that it was possible. And then you came out after that, playing with the, the, the early uh, Return to Forever, and uh, you know I was I had to listen to all the stuff. You know I even bought a record. Where you you play with the uh, Forrest Sanders with two yeah. bass players. Your Cecil McBee was his name. Cecil McBee. That's Cecil what I was. Cecil the other McBee, guy. Yeah. That's a great bass player, by the way. Oh, was, was a fantastic bass player. So and I was just following the thing because I was already soloing, and you guys showed me that I was in the right direction. I was just 
going my way, doing the thing like that. Uh, he used to play with a pianist called Daniel Goyon. He came to my door and he had an album in his hand and he said, listen to that, there's somebody who plays like you. I picked up the album. It was Jaco's album. That's right. <laughs> and I went, I went to put it on, I was like, oh. Beautiful, the sound, the melody, I love that guy immediately because it, it, it was, it, I was in that direction, I was going there, I was already playing like a bat out of, out of hell and listen to him taught me like, uh, you know, melodies, you know, melodies, yeah. such beautiful solo, that yeah. guy, the, those <coughs> solo, it's just like so, I said, oh yeah, let's do that, and uh, that's the inspiration. Sam Jones, you, the James Brown, Eddie Gomez, and then the Jacko thing, it's just really finalized the thing, because as I say, I was, you know, when you're young, you want to play as fast, and then listening to, oh yeah, yeah, let's play some melody, that makes it melodic, that people can relate to. Yeah. yeah, it was a great time for, uh, for the bass, uh, and I remember uh, back in those days when Jocko first came on the scene, we used to hang out quite a bit, you know, whenever we'd see each other, and I remember him asking about you. Jocko was a great guy, he said, man, who's that guy, that French guy, you know? <laughs> I said, what do, you, who, what do you mean, who, what are you talking about? You know, that guy, and he's playing that stuff on fretless bass, and then I knew. Oh, you're talking about Bunny Rennell. He said, Bunny, what kind of name is that?
This is the second set featuring Charlie Arbalize. And um, uh, right now we are taking a look at the live art from uh, Cataly. And uh, she is doing live art here tonight, so the piece will be building. And um, we will keep you posted on its development. It's a beautiful shot of Charlie, so we want to thank you very much for the live art. And um, I hope you enjoyed the intermission. And please keep in mind, on September 12th, the acoustic show for Bunny Bunnell will be streaming live here. So please tune in for that. And um, uh, we have a special guest here tonight. I would like to introduce our next host. He's from KSDS Jazz 88.3 FM. Please welcome to the stage, David Brown. Thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure that I'm here this evening. Thank you. Thank you to Queen Bees and everybody that is making this possible. I'd like to thank um, EnterConcerts.com for having this. There's a lot of people that you don't see behind the scenes. And they are just an absolutely fantastic group. And I'm honored with Charlie Abreles and Irving Flores. A couple of things. I have a show on Sunday morning. It's called The Jazz Message. And I'm honored to play these great musicians. And it's very important that I play local musicians such as Charlie and Irving and some of these fine gentlemen. Charlie and Irving let me in the world of that, what they do. I'm just in radio. They've made me a better broadcaster because they let me absolutely come in and, and, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you guys. You're also very talented. So the second set is going to include Latin jazz presented by Charlie and some originals by Irving Flores. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is Latin side of jazz.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, the second set of tonight. I have a completely different band, except for 50% is the same from the last band. So I changed two ingredients. Number one, I have Maestro Irving Flores on the piano. New addition for this band, we have Fernando Gomez on the drums. And you've already heard from a man, Mr. Mackenzie Layton, on the bass. Double duty tonight. That was a song that I wrote uh, entitled Toda Fe. I'd like to move on to a tune that I wrote. And this is a cha-cha. And uh, I specifically wrote this one for, um, in memory of my dear friend, Mr. Steve Bailey. So I know Tamara Bailey is watching right now. So this is for you and for Steve. This one is entitled Baila Steve.
Steve and Tamara Bailey were some of the very first people that uh, really believed in me and backed me up when I was um, fresh on the scene in San Diego and still an active duty Marine. I'm very grateful for them. This has been a summer of food. Uh, with so much time to be at home and come up with different ideas to uh, cook. So I wrote a basa and titled it Creamy.
Charlie, Arbeliz, and Ben. A little bit of Latin jazz on a Tuesday, presented by innerconcerts.com. Please go to their website and donate. Um, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't see, but they all work very, very hard to present this. Alma, thank you so much for, um, for letting you host at uh, Queen Bees. We certainly do appreciate it. Broadcasting live in North Park, Queen Bees, thank you. Um, we have a special guest right now, and Charlie, I would like you to introduce uh, the special guest. I will. All right? When we get to it. When you get <laughs> to it. When we get to it. We okay, will. all right. But we can, we can give a clue as to well, if you, I, oh, well, he plays uh, the trumpet. Well, I mean, you know, the man is gold in this city, right? <laughs> so, anyway, um, what, do you have an extra tune that you're? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Uno aquí, Charlie and the band.
give it up for Maestro Irving Flores. Okay, so here's some real-time news and information. Uh, Jim Weiss, if you're watching, I'm going to see you in the morning. He's my repairman because my spring just broke on one of the keys of the saxophone. So I have a floppy key, which is why I'm trying to use gravity so that it can push the key down. Otherwise, it's not going to move around. So this is a huge distraction, but I'm going to finish this concert for sure, <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> um, okay. So, this next tune is uh, more of an Afro-Cuban rooted beat. Um, and I titled this one, Respiro, which means breathe, which is exactly what I should do.
Respiro. Again, that's featuring Maestro Irving Flores. Irving Flores on the piano. Mackenzie Layton on the bass. And Fernando Gomez on the drums. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and a privilege to introduce to you our special guest. This is his first public performance since his surgery a few months back. If you don't know about this, I would translate it as probably his experience is exactly a trumpet player's worst nightmare. So it is with great honor and pleasure and uh, privilege that I introduce the one and only Gilbert Castellanos on the trumpet. And to close out the set tonight, I'd like to feature a composition by Irving Flores, of course, Maestro Irving Flores. And uh, this one's a, a classic, an instant classic, entitled Armando Miconga.
the one and only Gilbert Castellanos on trumpet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maestro Irving Flores and the composition Armando Miconga. Mackenzie Layton on the bass. And you heard an outstanding solo from Fernando Gomez. Fernando Gomez on the drums. Yours truly, my name is Charlie Arbelaez. Muchísimas gracias. Y tengan buena noche y que Dios los bendiga. A very special thank you to Charlie Arbelize. Let's hear it one more time for Charlie, please. <laughs> A very special thank you to everybody in his band, to Gilbert, thank you so much, to uh, David Barone, thank you so much, to uh, Florentino and Intertalk Media, thank you so much. Please visit us at interconcerts.com. Please donate. If you like what you see, let us know. If you want more or something, please let us know. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, everyone. Please have a good night. We'll see you September 12th for Bunny Brunel. Have a great night. Thank you.